from the seas to the skies, no beast can hide, but music's a little loud still. The music's a little loud still. Down to 30? We're down to 30, Master? There we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hi, Pia. May the 4th be with you all. It's Star Wars Day. I was gonna play a Star Wars game. I bought, I bought Star Wars Battlefront 2 and downloaded all 90 gigs of it and then decided I wanted to play something hard. Uh, so we're playing this. Because Miyazaki won't give me Bloodborne 2 and he won't put Bloodborne on PC, so... We find... Oh! Midas, thank you for the five months, brother. More like Star Wars. Amen, brother. Oh. In the beginning, people thought it was just another infectious disease. It wasn't until the livestock began dying and those who had been infected began shrieking out in pain that they realized a deadly plague had befallen them. Yo, Fia, thank you for the five months as well. Can't wait for Revenge of the Fifth and Star Wars Battlefront. <laughs> I gotta put all 90 gigs of that to use somehow. The various kingdoms tried to fend off the sickness and ghastly- Oh, shit, I didn't read fast enough. Hermes' kingdom, founded atop a colossal tree, quickly rose to power due to their use of a miraculous alchemical science which was able to turn the plague into a cure. As the plague ravaged the lands, they relied on this alchemy to light the blessed flame. But where there is light, there will always be shadow. The hedgehog. Okay. Oh, it's stuttering a little bit. Due to the recent epidemic outbreak, Hermes Kingdom is declaring a state of emergency. All citizens must abide by the following orders. 1. All citizens are forbidden from going out. Essential supplies will be distributed by the Knights. Oh, they're dealing with COVID. 2. Any sightings of plague-like symptoms or mutations must be immediately reported to the Knights to be dealt with. 3. Any corpses or unclean objects must be handed over to the relevant personnel for incineration and purification. Effective date immediately. Follow the commands and search for the cores, huh? Right, bumper is basic. Beat dodge. Saber attacks deal damage to the enemy and leave wounds on them. Wounds are temporary and will heal after a short period if no more damage is inflicted. When the enemy when the enemy's health and wounds are both zero, they will become dazed. Approach a dazed enemy and use a right bumper to execute. Why, buddy? Got him. Hi, buddy. Okay. Harry. A deadly, a deadly silence hangs over the streets, and the city's completely sealed off. There's no food to be found, nor any water. They probably wanted me to deflect that lady. Okay. Yeah, we know how to lock on. I've already done it. Ooh. Come on. Show me what that, that parry timer is like. Hit me. You 
are the devourer. Wield your claws. Tear apart the body. Right trigger performs a claw attack. The claw attack deals a lot of damage to enemy wounds and prevents them from healing. Enemy has a unique plague weapon, and Corvus can reave this for his own use. Hold right trigger to fully charge Corvus's claw and release a reave. Release to reave a plague weapon. Reave deals more damage to enemy wounds and prevents them from healing. Corvus is vulnerable whilst charging the claw, so it's safer to perform on dazed enemies. Use Y to cast a reaved plague weapon. Reaved Plague Weapons can only be used once. Corvus has super <coughs> super armor while casting Plague Weapons, but still takes damage. <laughs> God fucking missed. Let's try that again. Give me that. The King's Dagger and the Grey Armor. They are our last hope. They led the survivors and tried to make things right. The infected corpses were burned to purify them of the sickness. Resting at a beacon. Okay, that's our bonfire. Okay. We can't do anything with it yet. Feathers. As lethal as iron arrows pierce their weakness. When a green light appears before an enemy attack, they will perform a critical attack that cannot be deflected. Instead, Corvus must move out of range or use a feather attack. Left trigger throws a feather, interrupts enemy's attacks just before critical attacks hit. They generate feathers over time. Feathers will also leave wounds on the enemy and stop them from healing for a while. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. Death came early. <laughs> We're not out of the tutorial yet. Oh no. Alright, the salty run back. Give it to me. I'll play the ranged game with you. What does your flight weapon do? Oh, shit. Yeah! Got the key to the cemetery. Let me in. How did this all begin? They said that an accident occurred on the day of the king's birthday. 
Previously, the plague was only spreading outside the kingdom, but after the outbreak, all have gone mad. What's down here? Oh, hi. You got a new thing. I wanna s Hey! Knock that shit off. to all regions of the kingdom are either lined with monsters or blocked by soldiers. None can leave and none can enter. Oh, hi. Hi there. I want your axe. Give me that. Alright, all the way up we go then. Who's that? Oh, hello. Oh. <laughs> I don't have any potions left. I'm not prepared for this. Oh. Right, that hit hard. Is that supposed to happen? Am I supposed to get fucked up? Philosopher's Hill. Hermes' kingdom is built on top of a colossal tree. When national issues became too overwhelming, kings of past generations would retreat to the core of this mystical forest. Legend has it that here they can access the wisdom of their ancestors. As such, it has been given the name Philosopher's Hill. Ugh. A little freak. Corvus, you're finally awake. I was worried about you. You were badly hurt. Luckily, you made it back in time. Corvus, do you remember what you did? You need the right formula to use Hermes' answer. It appears that the injury caused you to lose your memory, so perhaps it would be helpful to start with a, a description of what you still remember. Come back when you've got your memories in order. Until then, you can walk around. It might help jog your memory. So it's like our, our Firelink Shrine. Our... Uh... What's the... The starting hub in 2? Is it Majula? The families of the Knightly Order petitioned the king to stop sending knights to battle outside the kingdom's borders. The former chairman of the Institute for Alchemical Studies, Emerald, has officially appointed someone to take her position. Emerald said that she wanted someone with even greater abilities than herself to lead the alchemical research in Hermes. The Twilight Circus, hailing from the Sea of Trees, was once again invited to perform in the Royal Court. As expected, Ringmaster Odor's new performance was received with great acclaim from all who had attended. Philosopher's Hill is the royal family's sanctuary. Every fall, father would take us here. He says that on the hill, he is not king, but merely a father and a friend. 
There is no need for formalities here, he would say. After the outbreak, domestic matters became pressing, and our visits to this place grew less and less. Corpus can recall his memories by revisiting locations and quests in the map. More memories and locations are unlocked when Corpus starts to remember. That big guy made our brain do a fucky-wucky. It is the exoration of former kings. He who examines himself shall never be lost. What brings me the greatest joy is coming to Philosopher's Hill with the children every year. Watching them run about playing together never fails to help me forget the turmoil in the kingdom. Recently, some strange sickness has plagued the lands beyond our borders. I must make sure our kingdom is prepared. I don't think the king did a very good job. Can we go up there? No. Alright, kid. Corvus, are you ready to recall? I think so. Sea of Trees. In the early days of the plague, the nobles banished all criminals, the poor, and the sickly to a lower level of the kingdom known as the Sea of Trees. The upper rings of society, living above the slum, care nothing of their lives. They refer to them as the hopeless, letting them succumb to sickness and all manner of ghastly creatures. Send me in. Get me in there, I'm ready to fight. The of Tweez. Corvus can use memory shards to enhance okay, our level ups. We get a talent point up until level 25. Level up. Uh, hit me with a strength uh, and a vite. Corvus can use talent points to learn new talents. Talents can be unlearned at any time, so experiment with different playstyles to prepare for the various challenges that lie ahead. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Increase saber attack damage. Fast saber attacks up to a five hit combo. Store energy when hitting enemies with a saber attack. Oh, there are more categories, too. There's a lot going on here. Oh, wait. Further increases deflect time. That sounds useful. that. Oh, hi, bud. I want you to hit me. I want to see how much the... Well, it's not that big of a window. Come on, buddy. Shit. Why ain't I just a dummy? Hold on. Let's run that back. I'm not going to use a potion when I'm so close to a beacon. Got him. 
The Twilight Circus has the following openings. No restrictions or qualifications. All able-bodied ap able applicants welcome. Porter, 20 positions. Street vendor, 10 positions. Five males and five females will be required to undergo a physical examination and perform clerical duties within the tent. Outstanding compensation. Interested parties, please contact... We got the Socus in town? Oh, so they're ableist? Cancel them? Ooh, they might have clowns. Maybe we should cancel them. I'll let them, I'll let them be ableist. Several days ago, some mysterious visitors arrived at the village hoping to talk with me. They never had a good feeling about the people from above. After all, they are the ones who abandoned us. But they are royal guards. I could not just avoid them. They asked me a lot about the circus. We're bringing up the circus again, huh? Hi, buddy. Okay, hold up. Let's, let's be, uh... Let's be civilized men about this, huh? We have returned. A brand new program made just for you, the audience. With featured acts such as Big Clown Beatorama. Oh shit, they do got clowns. Dagger's Fatal Roll Call, and the highly anticipated The Grand Illusionist Odour's Mysterious Finale. Every Saturday and Sunday, just at the brink of dusk, the circus tent opens for you. Oh shit. Are we at the circus now? Go get out of there. But what? I, I mean, they, they did say they were hiring. Well, there's a shiny down there. Maybe, uh... Maybe I could join the circus. Man, I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. Let's go see what that shiny was. Hopefully this isn't a, uh... The point of no return drop. Bitch ass, cute ass, bitch, bitch. Oh, look who's talking, Cubbles. The pot calls the kettle black. I want to join the circus in order to provide for my family. There are rumors floating around that some people go into the tent and never come out, but the pay is so good that nobody really cares. The staff member that did my health check said, My body is just what they're looking for. No idea what that means, but to hell with it. Uh. Now which way do I drop? Fuck it, we ball. This way. Oh. Oh. Oh! Welcome in, Cubbles. Happy... It is still Saturday, right? Yeah, it is. Happy Saturday, Cubbles. I haven't lost all sense of time just yet. Oh, we just went that way. Let's see what was behind this little blank wall. Let's go this way. The exiled have created a settlement that surrounds the sacred trees. These towering deities protect us from monsters and plague. The prophets say that even just carrying the broken twig of a sacred tree can drive off the pestilence. Well, uh, whoa! Okay. We're okay. We, oh, we have returned. Okay, we read that already. 
we're back at the start. You're gonna you're gonna fight me, Kobolds? Yeah, you might win. In fact, you'd probably win. Yeah, let me let me chew on those. Let me level up, tiny ghost. Uh, yeah, yeah, that looks good. And then get some talents. Uh, let me get the fully extended deflect time. Uh, step and jump. B towards the enemy right before their critical attack. Oh, it's the Sekiro thing. Yeah, let's get that. Corvus can perform a, sh a second dodge. Do we have short dodge or long dodge? Corvus can dodge twice and the second dodge is longer. Yeah, I'll take long. Dodge. Oh yeah. Let me Yeah. Donkey kicked me. Got him. Okay. So, this way must be progress. Oh, hi. shards. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Am going to use a potion again already? Yeah, I am. Almost every residence in the forest is constructed around the sacred trees. The people believe that if they are close to the trees, they receive their blessing and protection. Even those whose homes are not in direct contact with the sacred trees will carry tiny branches to drive off the plague. Again, I, you know, I don't think it, it worked. Your funny superstitious mumbo jumbo didn't work, buddy. Oh, we read that one already. Same ad. The Twilight Circus is urgently seeking porters and carpenters. 50 positions available. Oh shit. Hunters, you guys want to go join the circus? No restrictions or qualifications needed? Outstanding compensation? That sounds like quite the deal. Get that thing. Oh, we oh, feather it. Okay, by far gas. Oh, 
Oh, hi. Hello, sir. Shit. Got me with the donkey kick again. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm not, uh, not in great shape though. Corvus can use skill shards obtained from fallen enemies to unlock or upgrade plague weapons. Corvus can equip unlocked plague weapons in the plague weapon menu. Use X to cast an equipped plague weapon. Equipped ones consume energy but do not disappear after use. Okay. So we can technically carry two plague weapons on us then. We get the temporary one from reaving enemies. But we can equip one as well. Hey! You little stinker. I don't have any potions left. You little shit. This up was hidden. Two. Come on, Feather. Regen, little buddies. Here we go. I told them I didn't know what's in the buckets, but they just keep asking, even requesting to speak with villagers who have walked, worked, worked in the tent. My nephew actually worked in the tent, and he said that the buckets were filled with oddly shaped small creatures. But the circus folk are one of us, the tree blessed, so how could I possibly reveal their secret? Ooh, they don't want to snitch on their boys. A couple of clown sympathizers in this town. Oh. What was that guy? Let's see this. And axe unlock. Okay. Uh, how do I equip you? X. Square. Level up. Yeah. Well, we can get a talent now, too. Uh... Let's go for the tried and true. Let's go for the tried and true 5 hit combo. Let's upgrade our basic shit. Basic attacks. Need the key to the side tent to get through there, huh? Hey, big guy. Holy shit. Tried out the, the funny step off. Next time he does 
Scheiße. Oh, I dodged into him. Damn it. In the potion menu, Corvus can use an alchemical an alchemy enhancer to increase the number of potions you can carry, the potion's health recovery, and the number of ingredient slots on a potion. After unlocking the ingredient slots, Corvus can add different ingredients to the potion and gain extra effects. Okay. Okay. Looking a little fucked up at the circus. And we can level again, too. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, better claw damage. Unlock a talent. I want a stab after a dodge, or a slash after a dodge. So after the slash attack, Corvus's saber attacks will start from the third hit of the combo. The stab is just just a vanilla ass stab. Give me the combo starter. Knock the hammer. Yeah, equip the hammer. Upgrade potion. Okay, so we can get up to six, get its health recovery up to 300, and we can get three ingredient slots. Give me a, another potion, please. Excuse me. Now I can just I sir I can just throw out that hammer whenever I want. In the beginning, the circus was just some personal entertainment for the village workers. A few people getting together, amusing each other with cheap tricks. Gradually, it began to grow. They called themselves Twilight. Besides signifying their nighttime performances, it also implies a way of finding joy and hardship. They called it Twilight because they really liked the movies. But they're fake fans. They haven't read the books. The circus seeks to produce, procure small-sized animals in any condition for use in performances. Flyers, runners, jumpers, whatever. If it moves, we'll take it. Interested parties, please contact. Sir? Good kick. You really... You really showed the air who's boss, bud. Can't open from this side, eh? Can't open at all. Oh, there's a ladder. And another ladder. Need the key to the market secret room. There's a guy back. There's a man back there. Yeah, surely there's no fall damage. There's not. Interact, please. We entered the Sea of Fools under the guise of helping the research team speed up their progress. We are actually here to investigate. The strange activities of the Twilight Circus. Uh-huh. Okay. 
that door. I need the key to the secret room. Excuse me, who's producing the fart gas around here? I don't want to find out what'll happen if I let that bar go. Are you the fart gas producer? Oh, you got a scary spear guy. Oh, you're not so scary. Hey, hey, hey! So get over here. Oh, hi. Miss. Didn't see you there. There's a... Oh, shit. Just jump him. Yeah. Just can't open. Oh, you've got a lot more health than the last spear guy. Excuse me. A sucker. Oh, oh we're out of potions. Twenty five health. It ain't looking so hot. Oh, got him. Keep to the market secret room. We gotta go back. We gotta go back. On this amount of health, whatever's in the secret room is gonna kill me, but I don't care. I wanna know. Are you a friend? Are you... Oh, you are a friend. Eileen the crow looking ass. Harvest, do you remember me? Hmm. Probably not. I'm Emerald. I also have a little credit for your presence in this world. You have unlimited potential. Maybe we should see this conversation as an opportunity. Corvus, do you have something you want to ask? Uh, no, I guess I don't. Emerald, I guess I don't. Alright, see you, lady. Oh. Ain't dying, ain't dying. I need, a, I need a beacon to rest at. It's where the hose at? Oh, we just, we just talked to Emerald. We just missed the hose. Oh, 
Now I'm all turned around this way. We're gonna die a tragic death before we can make it to the next beacon. It's down here. Can't open from this side. Damn it. Hi, sir. Don't get greedy. Come on, give me a beacon, please. Someone. Give me, give me that knife. No. Oh shit. What are you locked onto? Shit. Damn it. Well, now I guess we'll get to see if the powerful enemies respawn. My memories get interrupted. Amen, brother. Oh, you little fuck. Raining men out here, what the hell? You guys are allowed memories? Uh, mine are just borrowed. I checked them out from the library. Guys, not here. We're okay. There's the little shit that interrupted my memory, too. Ma'am. Did your mother ever tell you it's dangerous to run with knives? These enemies just look like normal people. We're just we're just committing crimes. You a big scary one? No, you're not. we go down? Guess we drop? Fuck, I kinda want that item though. Hold up. We're going back up. We're gonna drop down that scary drop.
Most of the work inside the tent is just moving various buckets around. Sometimes I can even feel the things inside of them still moving. Oh! Is that man just... got a big fist? I need the big fist. again. Two for the next capacity upgrade. Give me a recovery upgrade, please. Now let's go get that big romantic rocky fist. Hold on to that spear just for him. Timing on the fully upgraded deflect is super generous. me with the donkey kick this time, Buster. There's my memories. Gracious.
me your fist card. Thank you. We got another potion thing. Another little alchemy. Alchemical enhancer. Even though Order is extremely popular with the Upper Dwellers, he still really cares for the Sea of Trees. His circus not only provides work and resources, they even do free performances to entertain those of us who have never seen the outside world. Many are grateful for Odor's compassion, so when the circus comes to recruit new members, the forest residents are eager to sign up. Now, now this feels like it should be a shortcut door. Why am I not allowed? I'm simply not allowed. Hello, sir. Appreciate a beacon. Oh, ask and you shall receive. Let me, uh, let me suck on these pocket soles. Do that, do that, do that. Uh, yeah. Keep bumping strength above the other two. Let's get dodge and slash two. And then these two that increase saber attack. Healing execution. After performing the execution, some health and energy will be restored based on the level of the enemy. Increases saber in air attack damage. Restore energy when hitting enemies with saber attacks. a series of short-ranged claw attacks up to a three in a combo. Or we can have looks like a slightly stronger two hit. Give me the give me the three. And we can upgrade the axe. Unlock the halberd and upgrade it too. And upgrade the fists. And let's put an ingredient slot on our potion. Fennel gives extra health recovery. Mint gives energy recovery. Obviously health. going that way. Oh. It's just that door that we couldn't open from one side. boss time. <laughs> Hello, buddy. Oh, dur. It's the ringleader. Ringmaster, circus boy. When a red light appears before an enemy's attack, they will perform an ultimate that cannot be deflected, dodged, or interrupted. Instead, Corvus must avoid the ultimate attack range. Okay. Ooh. 
Let me see your light weapon. Use your cane. Well, that wasn't your cane. doing <laughs> oh dirt oh dirt I hardly know dirt Bad one. That's all. Yeah! Surely there's not a third phase. There's not a third phase. Cool. Is this all that has happened? Uh, yeah, I think that's everything I can remember. the hub. We've acquired the long-lasting potion. Longer potion using time recovers over a period of time. No thank you, I like my, uh, my instant gratification. Uh, give me some more health. Let me get another talent. That healing execution. So this unlock miasma. Cause a dust burst and knock nearby enemies back in one stack of the miasma buff. Corvus vanishes when dodging and can dodge an unlimited number of times. Oh shit. Give me that. Um Well, you get 300 base recovery for the long lasting, though. What's that get up to? 525. Ooh. That's strong, but I don't need no dot healing. <sighs> Show item. Odor's vile core. This was taken from Odor? This is much too strange. As the ringmaster of the circus, Odor had received large amounts of pure blood. Yet why is there vile blood on his body? Hmm. This does not look right. I think you need to head back to the Sea of Fools and gather more information. Yeah, okay. I'll go gather more info. 
And we can go to the Royal Garden. Ooh. Subquests, eh? Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Sea of Trees. Subquest 1. The only thing that brings a sense of tranquility to the slum dwellers are the giant trees which tower around them, known to the locals as the sacred trees. Since everything in their life revolves around these trees, this deep reverence and respect grows into religious belief, shaping the unique culture within the settlement. Oh, different starting spot. Can I still do the charged? Yeah, I still can. Now boys, don't all rush me at once. Well, who's that? You a friend? Nope! You're not a friend! this fight in a corner. This way. This way. Come on. I want to see what your unique weapon is. Are those throwing knives? Oh, they replaced my feathers. Oh, that's neat. People all say they are monsters, products of the plague, but they are all wrong. These so-called monsters possess a greater power and vitality than humankind. They are the next stage in human evolution, but to reach this goal I will need much more vile blood. All of it. Pure blood, vile blood, it's like I'm playing Bloodborne 2. You know, I can keep dreaming. No, I don't want to upgrade the long-lasting potion. I'm not going to use it, so I put my resources into it. Forecast. Get out of here. Oh, from behind? Don't get a whole lot of help back from the healing execution, but I, it'll be helpful in long stretches between beacons. There is still one more upgrade for it. Get that fart gas out of my face.
Hey, you're not allowed. You're simply not allowed to do that. I'm trying to read here, lady. After the unspoken incident occurred, cysts began to grow on the giant trees and the circus stopped performing. But even though there aren't any performances, the circus is still recruiting in large numbers. Yeah, that odor guy was up to some shady business. He was up to no good. Uh... Yeah. Level 13 already. Okay. Let's finish off... Finish off the healing execution upgrade. Um, what do I want to upgrade next? Quick recovery during certain on-hit animations. Press B to get up quickly. When having five stacks of the offensive buff, every short claw that hits an enemy restores some health. Ooh, gain super armor when performing Predator's Claw sounds useful. Gliding claw while in the air. Press right trigger to perform a gliding claw. Ooh. We can upgrade our feathers. That might not be a bad idea. What are these? Oh, we can get a third plague weapon slot. Okay, okay. Nope, that's the way we came. Excuse me, sir. I need you out of my way so I can hit that fart gas producer. Short Claw is giving me stacks of offensive? Let's see if there's a stack of something above my... my health bar. They do. Much of the Sea of Trees is not protected by law enforcement. As such, thieves abound in number. Yet the most peculiar are those hoodlums who have not received the blessing of pure blood, yet are still immune to the plague. Some say they possess the antidote. Cheeky potion. Oh, get out of my way, sir. Come out of that heart gas. Shit. health back from that guy. That's pretty good. After the incident occurred, most residents in the Sea of Trees became sickly and close to death. But a small number of people did not become infected. In fact, they have become stronger. Their embodied their bodies began to grow branch-like objects. The prophets say that these are the blessings of the sacred trees. I think it's all a bunch of hoopla. Blessing of the trees.
pick that weapon. They did indescribable things to the sacred trees. How dare they? Even cutting down large chunks of trunked bark? The trees have spoken to me. The god will not go easy on them. Oop. There's a big scary man up there. This record must be dealt with anonymously. Interviewee, hopeless laborer. A friend of mine worked for the circus before. After being injected with strange medicine, he was taken into a large tent. The tent was full of buckets and caged animals. His work was to inject animals with some substance and put them in buckets. As the compensation was really good, he did the job several times. Then one day, he never returned. This circus is up to no bueno. I'd rather not fight you on such a an enclosed bot. There's more than just this guy too. Hold up. He's a clown, I think. He's certainly dressed like he could be. I'm spinning, you little fuck. Holy shit. back. Really gonna need those souls back. So I'm really gonna need those memories back. Buddy. 
Here we go. Oh. Give me those skill shards. Alright. Let's, uh... Try this again, Buster. Yeah, I think this one's going a lot better. Recently, a group of researchers have arrived from above. They keep asking about the circus. They've told me in private that the circus is conducting a mission on behalf of Central Authority. A very dangerous mission. They even told me to keep my distance. Hmm. Alright, tiny child, get me out of here. We broke the shit out of all them cysts. Eat my stoles. <sighs> Get another level or two in. Just one, that's okay. Uh, hmm. Increase max feathers to five. Uh, feather dash. Intercept wing. Instead of throwing feathers, Corpus uses his wing to deal or melee attack. That's cool. Uh, give me more feathers. Unlock the knife. Upgrade the axe. We can upgrade our potion. Give me more capacity. Let me carry five. Find Odor's construction notebook. Okay. Easy. Easy. Due to the extreme shortage of resources in the Sea of Trees, slum dwellers have little choice but to make a living doing odd jobs such as collecting garbage. The market is the liveliest place within the sea. It is where all gather to exchange goods and seek work. Light that beacon. Oh, there's fart gas right off the bat. Come here. Come here, buddy. Okay, there's not a whole lot of fart gas, I guess. Stop puppy guarding the ladder, Buster. Oh, you've 
got the big health. The, 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 the alchemy enhancer. I'm having a hard time with my words. <laughs> Emerald, besides bringing alchemy to Hermes' kingdom, also brought many intriguing playthings like the towering structure located at the deepest region of the Sea of Trees called the Lift. It is said that all one must do is enter an iron cage and you immediately arrive at Odor's performance tent. Now seeing Mr. Odor's performance will be so much easier. Hey, watch it. I don't need to drop down. Climb back up that way. Why wouldn't I? There's an enemy down here. There's stuff. There's things. One of the thieves, after being caught, revealed the reason for their immunity in order to avoid execution. It turned out to be a concoction that their family passed down through the generations. He claimed that mixing rosemary, sage, and a certain medicine together, then rubbing the mixture on one's body would produce a sterilizing effect. The researchers scoffed upon hearing it. Bunch of weenies. Okay, back down this way. Up the stairs. It's straight here instead. Oh, 
shortcut. Hell yeah. You're new. You've got a big health bar and you've got dual sword. Yeah, chill your cool your jets there, brother. Trees market, eh? At the time, I was collecting samples of the giant tree with other researchers. We felt a massive wave of energy, and then the forest completely transformed. A thick fog suddenly appeared. Strange balloon-shaped cysts grew on the tree. Our original schedule had to be cut short, as local residents and the research team began to feel unwell. Alright, send me up. Should I drop here? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Oh my. A couple of fellas down here. Excuse me, fellas. I just need a second to breathe. Zero potions and a dream. Recovery, and we can level up. And unlock a talent. Mm. Let's finish off short claw. You get the five stacks of offensive pretty quickly. 
that'll be a nice another nice way to keep our health in good order between beacons. And let's see, next level we'll finish off full winged. And then uh we'll move down one of these three. Then we'll do something in strategies. Can't open that door. Well, we can open this one. What are you? Oh, you're another strong one. Something unique. Oh, fellas, excuse me, pardon me. Odor has the kind of wild ambition and pride that only nobles possess. As if from birth, the world was enthralled with him and him alone. He is the most skilled. He is most skilled in illusion and one-of-a-kind hat tricks. Oda relied on these performances to enter the circles of nobility. Okay. Okay. Now I'll come back. Now I'll come back. Excuse me, sir. Hi there. Halberd skill shirts. Huh? Is this where we started? It is. Well, nope. Might as well get another level under our wing. Yeah. Okay. Seven feathers. Like weapon. Unlock the Qatar now. Cool. No, I'm not upgrading the long lasting potion. Sorry, game. So I'm off the demand to go off those players. A 
Which way did we just come from? Those stairs? Go up. This way? Uh, no, we're not dropping down there. There's spark gas up here. Uh, that's a lot of fart gas. After creating another self, I wondered whether it was possible to create an even stronger existence. With her help, I began a massive project. Inspiration came from the legend known to all in the sea, the spirit of the sacred tree that descends upon the world to save the lowly ones. Constructed from the branches of the sacred tree and powered by large amounts of vile blood. Okay. Yep, that's all that happened. Get me out of the park gas, please. <sighs> I'd like to... Can upgrade the halberd? Yes, please. That was all the sub-quests in that zone, so it's time to move on to... Or not. God of the Fools. Odor began a massive project. Inspiration came from the legend known to all in the sea. The spirit of the sacred trees that descends upon the world to save the lowly ones. Okay, that's just what we read. Have you killed any clowns yet? Uh, there was a, a big guy with a hammer that was dressed like he could have been a clown. So maybe. Twilight Circus's fame far reaches far and wide and is often invited to tour other kingdoms. Upon its return to the Sea of Trees, the circus begins brings back foreign commodities as well as abundant job opportunities. Mm. Down we go. Oh. Hi. Wow. Isn't he handsome? Oh, he's awake. He's awake. Is using the vile form to make. Oh, holy shit, it's really loud in here. Mostly just the sound effects. Turn that down to 35. Yeah, no. 
pop back up to. He's just popping off back there. You dummy. God of fools beating me today. God, this, this sound effects are still so loud. Holy shit. the unspoken incident occurred, we were called in by the circuits to work. Order said these cysts were the cause of the fog. Only by putting all of them inside the idol and purifying them with the sea of trees returned to its former state. Okay. Get that out of your system, bud. Shit. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. Damn it. Damn it. I shouldn't have gone in for the melee. I should have gone back to the safe spot and waited for my feathers to regen. I'm a silly billy. something about this fucking audio. Turn that down. That down again. Aw, oh, you big fuck. Yeah. This is no bueno. I'm dead again! 
No! My memories! Alright, you big, big palooka. It looks like it takes six feathers to break one's fist. feather and I think we can break the cyst. I think we'll be fine at six. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna make the run over now. Close one. second floor. Blood doesn't even care about his own his own little jobbers. Okay, excuse me, pardon me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Unstoppable. to get no no I don't there's a, a safe room between got our feathers back Wind up. Okay. 
Oh, careful. Knife woman. for the alchemical enhancer. That's another enemy. Stop walking so nonchalantly. Get over here and fight me, Buster. Okay, one potion left. Get him, Corvus. Another alchemical enhancer. Shit. Get me out of this place. Should be able to level up again. Uh, yeah, give me strength. Give me strength. Slick kill, brother. Thank you, brother. Uh, da, 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 da. I want better regen time on feathers. What are this? What, what kind of strategies we got? We can get a second slot for plague weapons unlocked through skill shards. We 
can extend the time taken before enemy wounds start healing. That might be helpful for bosses. When taking damage, there's a 30% chance to reduce incoming damage by 10%. After taking damage, a small amount of energy will be restored. Slightly increases item drop rate. At full health, you get one permanent stack of offensive. And when less than 20%, you get a permanent stack of offensive. Uh, give me the plague wounds. Upgrade the knife. Unlock Fool's Punch. I gotta see that in action. Well, we could get our sixth potion. I'm gonna... Yeah, give me another ingredient slot. Okay. So, ooh, sage. Health recovery plus 71. Give me. Give me the big big health numbers. What uh what that do? What that do? What what the what the fool's punch do? I guess I should have read it before equipping it. Gain one stack of the fool's punch buff enhances the next predator's claw. Okay can break enemy super armor. Ooh. Oh yeah, I have to show you the, the core I just got. Seems that Odor has long known of our research project concerning the transformed. By means of self-study alone, he has managed to create this enormous puppet. Perhaps this is the reason why you took the vile core from Odor. He, he's still alive, and his research continues. Now we uh we put that fool in the dirt. Oh, unless we didn't. Odor thinks these so-called monsters possess a greater power and vitality than humankind. They are the next stage in human evolution. Defeat mutated odor. Alright, let's do it. Let's beat the shit out of mutated odor, and then I think we'll call it. After the outbreak, researchers from the Royal Garden noticed that besides the occasional monster attack, the number of infections in the Sea of Trees was very low. Even the infected who were banished there were often able to hang on for a long time, and so a research team was sent to investigate the cause. Are we just, we just going right in? We are just going right in. <laughs> Bro just turned into a fucking Resident Evil villain. fast. Alright, put me back in, coach. But actually, I'm not a huge fan of the full sponge. Give me my miasma back. Oh, we have to rewatch cutscenes if we do this? Shoot, shoot, shoot. 
shoe. Okay, okay. Third try is the charm. Man put me in the dirt so fast both times. <laughs> Pastor wouldn't like it if I swore like that. We just lost another another good chunk of memories too. That's a stinker. <laughs> All right, buddy. Oh, that's his ult. Oh. We're alive? This ain't the run. This ain't the one. He's not a pushover like the first odor was.
again, but we're further than we were last time we were out of potions. Uh-oh. Damn. Okay. 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 We got this. We can do this. That ultimate attack is scary. This was not the run. This is the run. Okay. That was silly of me to try to parry that. That leap in. Damn. Dodged again. <laughs> okay, this one's not the run either. I'm falling apart. Get it together, Artie. Come on. <laughs> you ain't all that, Odor. You ain't him. Dodge it, then uh, just just avoid it. Damn! 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 damn. All right, all right. Time to enter the zone. Time to lock in. Because, you know, I've just been kind of playing with my food. a sweat to beat this boy. Yeah. 
get out of dodge to, uh, to avoid those ultimate attacks. I don't think that I've evaded a single one that's come out since we started. Damn it, damn it. Watch you mouth. Oh no, please don't tell my youth faster. <laughs> don't take away my Game Boy. I don't want him to take away my Game Boy. Back there, Buster. You little jit. Opportunity to heal. Shit! I, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, sorry, Mr. Youth Master, sir.
Oh, we did it! That's a successful evade. We take those. Lock in, zone in. I'm slipping. I'm falling apart. Hold up. Let's take a look at our talents. Uh... Uh, yeah, let's reset these ones. Claw. Okay, gliding claw, so that when we do manage to do the step off, should we set all of these ones too? I want to try long claw. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's try it with that setup. These days I'll be able to pull off the step jump. Let me heal! Mutated odor single asking for a friend. Hey, you know, I can put in a good word for you. Welcome in, Meta. How's it going, homie? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Oh, 
No! Do the step jump, you dingus! Just chillin' modern Skyrim? Hell yeah. He's kind of being a dingus. Why are we dodging? Is it because I'm double tapping? like it should do more damage, but it only did like 20. Ow! And that doesn't look like it should do 200. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're more of a bingus name caller? We, uh, we've got a, a dingus, a bingus, now we need a stingus to complete the trio. Okay, so what if I just single tap when, when the blue flash happens? <laughs> just single tap. Maybe that's the, the missing ingredient in this, uh, this step jump suit. It so is. It so is the missing ingredient. That one felt better, though. That was much more clean. I think I can do it with this setup. Just gotta, just gotta nail that step jump when it comes up. Doing amazing pink, thank you, baby girl. Damn it. Darn it. Sorry, you faster.
Oh, you little jit. You little long haired freakazoid. We got the step jump down, though. I feel like that's gonna be uh, very important. I double tapped again. That's the AoE, you know. I done gone didn't dump double tap again. <laughs> oh no, this guy. This guy. He's making me make noises. This is good. This is the challenge that I wanted. I'm climbing an insurmountable hill today. I've said I have to lock in so many times. I can't find the key for the lock. How am I gonna lock in if I don't got the key for the lock? Huh? Tuesday, isn't it, Odor?
that tentacle's got such a long, long wrap around. I feel like it's probably almost better if I, oop, if I dodge towards him and try to run behind him when he does his ult. Because I got a good distance away that time, but the tentacle sweep still hit, so... Next time we see the ult come up, we're going to try dodging into him. Get behind him so the swing doesn't hit. Yeah, dodging into him is absolutely the answer. It's over, Odor. I win, baby! <laughs> That's everything that happened. It is. That feels good. Uh, yeah, let's let's see Odor's fused core. Odor has already become obsessed with alchemy research. It's clear from experiment number one that a mixture of pure blood and vile blood within an organism will produce uncontrollable mutations. What's incomparable power when you look so terrifying? 
W already, W already, indeed. Let's, let's bump our health. Get a new talent. Uh, da, 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 da. I like Long Claw a little better, I think. That 20% increased damage is nice. Uh, I guess we can start getting our feathers back up now. Leg weapon, we can unlock the mutated tentacles. Grow tentacles on the back and do a three hit combo attack and a smash attack. Okay, okay. We'll see if any more side quests were added to that first area or not. Nope, five of five. We done did it. We cleared the sea of trees. The next time we play this, we'll start Royal Garden, I guess. But that is where we're going to call it today. Uh, no stream tomorrow. Maybe, maybe a stream tomorrow. Maybe we'll do the Star Wars thing uh, on Revenge of the Fifth. Uh, I'll have a schedule for this week posted either tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, so until next time, y'all, have a safe hunt. Bye. -bye, 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 -bye.